back of the park and I have a really strong 48 47 which is kind of upper foil but I'm gonna do a live dig because I think it might be a gold ring <laughs> Boiled. Mm, it's a big chunky piece, that's why. And that sounded good. 83, 82. That might be a that might be a silver ring or something. Weird. That was one high ringing penny. <sighs> that explains it. Two coins. Nickel. Okay, I just dug a 45, 46 signal foil. Looks like it's gonna be a ring. Look at that. Ho oh, ho ho. That's nice. It's a little class ring. 10k <laughs> on the gold again baby ah yeah that feels good I was just thinking I've never dug a class ring this isn't exactly what I had in mind I was hoping for those big chunky men's ones but there you go look at that 10k white gold looks like suppose this might have a name in it, huh? Class of 1985. Alright, let's see if we can get some more. Nickel. So this little piece of foil here just gave me the exact same sound as that 10 carat class ring. Solid 49, 47, 46. So this would be a foil sound again. But this one's so solid. We're gonna try a live dig. Oh my god, we hit it again. Look at that. Live dig. <laughs> Gold ring. <clears throat> oh yeah. There you go. There's your little foil sand. Ah. Uh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, 
switching to just pulling pull tabs and foil has changed everything look at that there's even a little stone there to test that later see if that's a you can't tell it's almost dark but yeah no doubt that's going to be a 10k black hills gold women's ring and look at that i called it called the signal There it is. Yeah. Yep, 10K. Just about all these are 10K. All right. Well, we're gonna try to live dig another one. See if I can show you the numbers. See that 44, 45? It's not going to be a gold ring every time, but... Man, we want it to be. <laughs> I think this one's going to be foil. There you go. Well, that time. Cool, man. So you were at the same park as me this morning while I was deer hunting? Yep. What'd you get there? Well, I thought it was a 14 karat gold necklace. It rang up as gold, but I dug it up and it's a 925 necklace made in Italy. So it's silver, but it's like 24 inches long. So. Right, but what would that be? Like a pull tab or foil? Or... Uh, a foil. came up as a high foil signal. So, basically because you were digging gold the only reason you got that chain. I had my machine set on silver too, though. But, yeah, I probably wouldn't have dug it. So, in years past, though, you were pretty much always a cherry picker, right? Yeah, because of you, I now <laughs> dig gold. So. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that you're digging gold, how many uh, gold do you got this year? Uh, five gold rings. Right? Yeah. But how many do you normally get? Zero. Right. So I've had zero in the last six years and uh, five this year. So now you're a believer in digging foil and full tabs? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a nice chain, man. Yeah, it was fun. <laughs> so this was about a two-hour hunt. You can see I uh, have a pretty decent amount of pull tabs I dug. And a little bit of can slaw. Foil, those are the actually the champion sounds of the day because both of the uh, rings I got would have come out of those foil sounds. You can see I didn't dig much clad though. Dug some nickels, so those would be rings, uh, gold rings possibly. <clears throat> and then I dug um, a few of these just because, you know, dimes and pennies because they might have been silver rings. But really I'm focused on the gold. So, there's the white gold 10K class ring. Look at that, three grams. Three grams of 10K. <clears throat> and that has some sort of little stone on it. I'm really not sure what kind yet. But that's weighing in at a gram and a half. So total tonight, four and a half grams of 10K. Oh, look at that, we're even rolling up to two grams. So what's that? Probably somewhere close to five grams then. Anyways, I'm thinking, don't listen to this video, man. Leave those pull tabs for me. I'll be there to get them. <laughs>